Well, it's all well and good you sitting there, monkey, but we're going to need to get some work done soon. Mark, there is so much washing to do. How long did Twanky say her uh, her oh. washing machine was going to be broken for? I don't. Do you know what? I should probably give her a ring and let her know how give we get Give her a on. ring. Okay. Ask Wishy Washy if she can come and help. Okay. Oh, oh whose pants are they? Oh, they look like they look like Silly's pants. Oh, you can right, hang on a minute. I'm just going to talk to uh, Widow Twanky. Oh, hello, hello. Is that Widow Twanky? It is. Oh, that's great. Y yes, it's Mark from the uh, Panto Bus Fun Shop. Yes, that's right. We'll make sure your washing is ready for your collection by the 12th of Never. And that's a Panto promise. <laughs> OK, yes, we'll just make sure we get it done quickly. Nice to speak to you. See you soon. Oh, Mark, you didn't even ask if Wishy could come oh, over. I know. Oh. But do you know what? I've been One, thinking, two, three, where's four. Holly? I don't know. I just haven't seen her anywhere. We've got, got so much all laundry. All these pants and we don't know where she is. <laughs> in the basket and while I was in there I saw loads of really nice things that I thought we could dress you in. What, for me? Great idea. Oh, is, yeah, it, yeah. Is, it, is it like a nice shirt or a nice pair of trousers or oh, actually some nice shorts to wear in the summer? Actually I thought that this would look really good on you. Oh Holly yeah, I agree. Hang Come on. A minute, that's, that, that, Arms up. That, that's a dress. Yeah you do it. You do the honours Susie. Uh, Are you ready? Come on then. Arms up oh. and over. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Let's fasten you up at the back. Aww. And are you stand sure? forward. The perfect timing. The boys and girls can see <laughs> you right here. Oh. <laughs> Actually, Holly, I reckon there's a shirt in there that matches as well. <laughs> this one. Look at that. It's got a bow on the front. Let's have a look at oh, you. I'm caught. I'm caught up. <laughs> Looking lovely. Let's just make sure we button you up. Oh, now let's have a look at this ensemble. Maybe it's missing <gasps> a hat. Yay! Yay! <laughs> well, boys and girls, I don't know about you, and certainly you two. We've got so much to do. If you're not going to help me, I'm going to go and ask Wishy Washy. I'll see you all soon. Oh, Bye. Well, I want to go. Oh, just on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mira, mira, in your heart, don't you think we're delightful and smart? Yes. No, I don't think you're delightful and smart. In fact, I think you both smell like farts. <laughs> oh, he, he can't be talking about me. You are the tooty one. I bought some new perfume this week, so it must be you. No. Oh. <laughs> It's easy to think at a single glance The science reverse is really pants Sometimes it goes right, sometimes it goes wrong But just have fun and play along With Smarty and Silly Pants Science <laughs> Hello boys and girls, mums and dads Tell me, do you ever get tired of blowing up your own balloons? Ever get that feeling that you're running out of puff? Your lips and cheeks hurt? And you just can't do it anymore? Especially when you're blowing up Nan's balloons and there's 80 million of them? <laughs> well, have no fear. We're here to help you with that problem. <laughs> because in today's episode of Smarty and Silly's Pants Science, we're going to be teaching you how to make self-inflating balloons. Isn't that right, Silly? Yeah, I'm <laughs> well excited for this one. Now, what you're going to need is the following. One small plastic bottle. There it is. Some vinegar. There. Some water. There. Some bicarbonate of soda. There. A balloon. There. A teaspoon. Yeah. And a funnel. There it is. Nice funnel. OK. What we want to do is take a small amount of water and put it in the bottle. OK, then how much is a small amount? What do you reckon? Well, you go About and go that what much? you feel. Well, more in the bottle than out would be helpful. How's that? Yeah, that'll do us About a bit. that? Yeah, OK. Yeah, that'd be fine. What's next? OK. Next, we want to put the same amount of vinegar into the bottle. The same amount? Yeah. Now, boys okay. and girls, it is, it is probably a good idea to play around. Do the experiment more than once. Adjusting the levels of your liquids may give you a better reaction when we do the later stages of the experiment. Now, how are we getting on? There we go. How's that? What do you reckon? Is that about equal? I reckon yeah, so. Yeah, let's go with that. Now, 
What you want to do is half fill a balloon with baking powder. Right, okay then. And is that what a funnel's for? That's it, yeah. So it's bicarbonate of soda. Right, and okay. popping it into the funnel. Here we and go. down into the balloon. Okay, and you down want to it get goes. It about half full. That's it. Give okay, a then. Shake, shake, and then we got a couple in there. in there. And I said that's about half full to me. Looks lovely. Now, place the balloon over the net of the bottle, but allow the balloon to droop. Okay, you don't want any balloon. bicarbonate of soda going in there just yet. <laughs> Make sure the balloon seals around the neck of like the that. bottle very well. That's it. Nice now, and sealed. Here's the exciting bit. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> now. What you want to do right. is elevate the balloon over the bottle, make sure it stays attached, pouring all the powder down into the liquid mixture, and then right. give it a good old shake. Okay, here we go. When you do that, <laughs> place the bottle back down and watch. Wow! Look at that fill itself <laughs> up. <laughs> That's awesome. How cool is that? That'll <laughs> just keep going and going. See if you can stick. There you go. <laughs> just make sure that doesn't pop off, boys and girls. There you have your very own self-inflating balloon. So no longer will you need to sit for hours blowing up birthday balloons, Christmas balloons, or any other kind of balloons. Just do this simple experiment at home and it'll do the work for you. Until our next Pants Scientific Adventure, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>
My riddle this week was a very tricky one, wasn't it, boys and girls? What has four eyes but can't see? Come on then, Whittington. What have you got for me? I think it's the Mississippi. Well, I'm going to need spelling clarification. <laughs> All right, say it with me, boys and girls. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Well, it has got four eyes. And it's the right answer, but I don't even care anymore, boys and girls. <laughs> I've made them all far too easy, but I'll be back next time for something far more tricky. Could you feed him some cheese, please? He's rather hungry. Uh, Till sure. next time, boys and girls. <laughs> Thanks for your help, boys and girls. Hello, my little fact finders. Just a little quick one for you today. Now, do you realise there's only one word in the English language that ends in M-T? And I'll tell you what it is, it's dreamt. Yes, dreamt, like I dreamt a dream or something like that. <laughs> but you try and find another one that ends in M-T. Best of luck, because there isn't one. <laughs> See you later, fact finders. Let's see if we can find one, though. Welcome back, dear friends, ladies, gentlemen, mums, dad. I know you've got the whole neighbourhood involved now, haven't you? I know you have. You've got a scoreboard, haven't you, on the end of your street. I, I know you're laughing because it's true. Yeah, who are you rooting for? Let me know. Let me know who you want to win. Now, let's see. We've got a... Uh, we've got the Viennese finger. We have... Edie. You are doing very well. I'm so... Uh, I started to get quite aggressive, but it was only because I, I'm very fond of the custard cream. But you it absolutely won by a landslide, didn't it? And then we, against it this week, we have the Oreo. Oreo, 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 Oreo. Oreo. Yes. Now, let's see how you do, my friend. Now, you are quite... You're not new to the biscuit world. I know you've been around a while, but it, it's a very popular biscuit, this. Aren't you, my dear? Do you twist and dunk, or do you dunk and dip, or do you eat and then dunk and then... Uh, what do you do with your Oreo? Yeah, it's a very interesting biscuit. Now, we're going to go straight in. There is no messing this week. It's very serious. Here we go. Vini's finger. One, two, three, dunk! Double dunk, always. Here we go. Okay, now... Just, just drop. I'll, I'll lie. I'll say you did longer than you did. I'll lie. What? Oh. 105, Viennese finger. You're doing very well. I suspect a cheat. I'll keep my eye on you. Now then, 105. Let's see what Mr. Oreo has in store, shall we? Here we go. Come on, you need to you need to knock him off his post. I believe, I know you can. I <laughs> I know you can. Come on, let's do it. Three, two, one, and dunk. Double dunk always. <gasps> Here we go. Okay, okay. Do it. Do it. not. It's moving. It's, it's, it's flipping. It's flopped. It's flopped. It's flopped. It's flopped. It's flopped. It's flopped. It's eight, eight seconds. Eight, eight seconds. Right. Okay, well, 
eight seconds it is then. I don't, I don't know which biscuit is actually going to beat the Viennese finger. But I do have a very exciting week next week, because you know what's next week, don't you? It's the Viennese battle! Again, boys and girls, it's me, Tubby the Troll again. Now, boys and girls, you know what time it is, and you know you've got to do it with me. So here we go, because it's time for Tubby's Cheese Diaries. <sighs> now, boys and girls, I want to tell you a little bit today about a cheese called Brie. Now, if you've never had Brie before, it is amazing. So creamy and delicious. <laughs> if you ever get a chance, try it in a bacon sandwich. It's the best, I tell you. Ask your grown-ups to make one for you if you can. <laughs> but the thing that I noticed, boys and girls, is recently, I'm sure a lot of you are the same as me, I've been watching lots and lots of TV in the tower. Rapunzel says sometimes I should get off my big bottom and go and make a snack. <laughs> But what I noticed, boys and girls, is that Brie is always mentioned on the TV. It's like, have you ever heard of Bay Brie Shark do 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 Bay Brie Shark do 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 Bay Brie Shark do 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 Bay Brie Shark? <laughs> or I was watching Aladdin the other day, and he was singing about it as well. He was saying, "You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend." You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend like Bree. <laughs> I love that genie. He's one of my favourites. <laughs> but the other one was I was watching The Little Mermaid the other day. And you know it's got the little crab Sebastian in it. Well, he was singing about Bree as well. He was going... Under the Brie, under the Brie, darling it's better, more so than cheddar, take it from me. <laughs> so if you didn't hear it before, maybe you can give those films another watch and you'll hear it again. And don't forget, if you get a chance, make sure you try some Brie cheese. It's one of my favourites, it's so tasty. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining me again today, boys and girls. I hope to see you again very soon. Bye! Now, boys and girls, this is my guitar, and I'm going to sing and play a little song for you now. It's one of our favourites, isn't it, is Dame it? Boomer? Oh, it is! It is indeed. It is, Feel it is. Like... Oh, doesn't that sound oh, beautiful? Oh, I love a guitar. guitar. Ah, now, boys and girls, this is a little song called All About the Pants. Have a little listen. Here we go. Because you know I'm all about the pants, about the pants of oh, pirates. I'm all about the pants, about the pants of oh, pirates. I'm all about the pants, about the pants of oh, pirates. I'm all about the pants, about the pants. Because you know I'm all about the pants, about the pants of oh, pirates. I'm all about the pants, about the pants of oh, pirates. I'm all about the pants, about the pants of oh, pirates. I'm all about the pants, about the pants, 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 pants. Chocolate the best. The only thing is, once it's melted, you have to work fast. 
So, take your crispy and chuck them in! Woo! Well, sorry, you just have to stir it all around, stir it all around. I'll deal with that later, we've got to be quick. Stir it all around, stir it all around, stir it all around, stir it all around. Now, if you're feeling really adventurous, you might want to use Rice Krispies and Corn Flakes. Get a fistful of Corn Flakes, lob them into, lob, lob, Corn Flakes in the chocolate. Covered in chocolate. Before it sets, you've got to mix it all together. Oh, shall we sing the mixing song? Mix, 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 mixy, mixy, mix, mixy, mix, mix, mix. It's time to add the Smarties. Chuck them in. Woo! And then mix them as well. All you're going to do is spoon your mixture into the cases. Very carefully, it's all in the scooping. Might be easier to use your hands. So don't be shy, dig in! Lovely! Once you've finished, all you have to do is pop it in the fridge and let it chill. And there we are! Cookies, chunky chunk lumps! Oh, delicious! Oh, hello Scrub Squad members! I'm sorry, I can't stop and chat today. We are expecting one and nine to strike at any moment. Oh, Dr. Detergent, any news? Ooh, the SOAP's defence systems are online and armed, Miss Antibac. We are fully prepared for the impending attack of Covid's henchmen, one and Excellent, nine. Excellent, Doctor. I have doubled up all tactical issue sneeze soap equipment. <laughs> tissue in all areas just as super scrub requested <laughs> and I've used my special formula of anti back gel as a protective layer on all entrances to the SOAP <laughs> soap. Excellent thinking Miss anti back According to the latest updates from Miss Vaccine and Planet Earth, COVID-1 and 9 seem to be affected by certain bacterial defying products. Um, <laughs> um, one more time, please, Doctor? Well, Miss Antibac, certain properties contained within products such as earthly soap and antibac gel, such as the special formula you use, have proven to help break down the molecular bacterial structure of Covid's virus. You mean, you mean it beats the Covid, Doctor? Well, we can't be entirely sure those things alone will beat the Covid 100%, but they certainly help keep it at bay and slow its spread down considerably. Ooh, hoo, hoo. So that's why the Scrub Squad members have the wash song! Precisely, Miss Antibac. Washing your hands regularly will definitely help give you the best chance of beating the virus. That's excellent, Doctor! I tell you what, let's play the wash song for all the Scrub Squad members! Of course, Miss Antibac. I'll load it up at once. Listen up, because the Scrub Squad's here. Me and Nancy back, we're gonna squash your fears. By the time we finish, you'll know what we mean. We're gonna teach you how to handle COVID-19. The most important thing of all is keeping things clean. Just wash your hands front and back. Front and back. You gotta use soap or anti-back. That's me. <laughs> Scrub for 20 seconds on, on both, both sides. sides. Drink some under clean water and then dry, dry, dry. 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 I said dry, dry, dry. 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 Something else that you should do Wash those hands before breakfast, lunch, dinner too Wash them when you clean all the mess away Keep washing those hands throughout the day If you're ever unsure, remember what the scrub swat say Wash your hands front and back you gotta use so or anti-bag. That's me. <laughs> Scrub for 20 seconds. 
scrub for 20 seconds on both sides rinse them under clean water and then dry 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 i said dry 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 useless snot bags. No, Great Bogey King. How may we serve you? Ah, are you in place? We must action the attack mission against the Scrub Squad before they're able to build up sufficient defenses. We're ready, Covid. Just say the word and we'll send those silly Scrub Squad snotballs back into outer space. Excellent. Let us not delay any further. Let the attack on the soap begin. The slimier, the better. Let me know when the mission is complete. I have a planet to control. <laughs> yeah, at once, you great boginess. Let mission snot squad begin. Fire! <laughs> They're here. Doctor, anti back. It's time. Right you are, Captain. What's our next move, Captain? We must protect the super octane astral nautical part. Doctor, uh, ready my super soaker. One moment, sir. Super soaker ready and charged, sir. What level should I set the output to, super scrub? Uh, I'm not taking any chances, Doctor. Set the level to extra soapy. Right away, super scrub. Captain! Extra soapy! <laughs> oh, do you think that's necessary, Captain? Anti back. We need to do all we can for the boys and girls of planet Earth and help them defeat COVID-1 and 9. We know that they're afraid of soap, so why not give them the extra bubble treatment? Oh, sure thing, Super Scrub! Let's get them! Hold on tight, young Scrub Squad members. Things could get a little bit bubbly. It's time. 